Right, we have got a very, very special surprise for you all today. We are at the Trek factory. Trek have been based in Waterloo, Wisconsin since 1976. And today, we've got a very exclusive look around their factory and manufacturing facilities. This is going to be very cool, I promise. Let's go. This is absolutely amazing. This is the atrium. This is the first thing you get to when you come into the Trek factory. Just look at it. It's incredible. Each area is designed to represent the Trek brand principle, but look at the bikes. Amazing stuff. Right, so each of the areas in the atrium here is based around one of Trek's brand principles. This one is born in a barn because Trek, quite literally, was born in a barn or their first bikes were manufactured in a barn, which is on site here in Waterloo, Wisconsin. We'll take a look at that in a bit. But these are some of the very first bikes. So 1976, the Trek 710, the first steel frame, one of the first 100 steel frames that was ever made. So there's the frame. Let's move on from the retro side of things to raised on rocket science. So this is about Trek's history of innovation and making new products. So 1991, the Trek 2500, their first carbon fiber frame. This is the seven tube design. There was a three tube design as well. So each of these carbon tubes is glued or bonded into an alloy lug. You can see it's pretty retro because although you have a carbon fiber frame, you've got an aluminium fork. And if you follow me this way, this is the Project One area. And this is something I'm particularly excited about because I was lucky enough to design a Project One bike and I've ridden it a couple of times. I'm hoping to ride it again, but you get to design your own bike, the paint job, the componentry, and you come up with designs like this, if you've got a bit of taste, just to show the level of effort that goes into Project One bikes. This one at the top is called Real Flames. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, but there's no set stencil. It's really down to the painter's interpretation of it. And it takes 12 hours for an individual painter to take this from bare carbon fiber to that stunning paint job. The final part of the Trek atrium that I want to look at are the Trek protein bikes. So we have got the Trek Sega Fredo Madone. Red bikes go faster, probably. We've got the Trek Pro Caliber cross country bike. Moving on, we have got Trek dirt jump bike. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. And finally, the Trek Session downhill bike. So Trek have always supported pro athletes at the top level of the sport and continue to do so across many, many branches of cycling. A Trek Amanda frame comes in eight pieces. It's gonna take me less than 60 seconds to assemble one, I think. Definitely less than 60 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There we go, that was definitely less than a minute. So Trek make around 20 frames a day here at this facility in Waterloo, Wisconsin. And this room right here is where it all happens from the raw rolls of carbon fiber through to something very much like the finished product. Let's go and take a look. Glasses on. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I actually, I've got no idea what my, what I thought a bicycle frame manufacturing facility would look like, but if you didn't too, here it is. Let's go over to where it all starts. Here we have rolls of carbon fiber. This is 12K unidirectional weave. Each roll of carbon fiber is actually recognizable because the different types of carbon fiber are differently color coded here and also stamped there. This isn't white carbon fiber, this is fiberglass that is used in some frames. And carbon fiber comes pre-pregnated with the resin that bonds it all together. So it actually needs to be kept in cold storage. It's shipped here in refrigerated trucks and behind me is a massive freezer where it's all kept. These two machines cut the sheets of carbon fiber we've just seen into frame size chunks. So these are the bit building blocks of your next Trek frame. I don't know what those are, but this is a laser guided machine. So this is cutting down sections of your of a next Trek Amanda frame. Around 200 pieces go into each frame. So there are a huge quantity of pieces cut down and this is programmed to reduce waste as far as possible because carbon fiber is actually quite an expensive manufacturing material and it's also quite difficult to recycle, although Trek do recycle all of their offcuts from this process. 
We do recycle as much carbon fiber material as we possibly can. Um, frames, um, raw carbon fiber pre-preg, um, and non-compliant molded parts, test frames, warranty returns, those types of things. Um, we are making, um, right now, 20 frames a day. And then there would be anywhere from 50 to potentially 100 different hands, different people, that would be touching the frame throughout its manufacturing process. So this is something that you'll find a lot more recognizable than the sheets of carbon fiber. This is the front end of a Trek Madone frame, fresh out of the mold here. We're now going to take a look at the painting process here at Trek. And to do that, I need a site change. Go wear a lab coat. Before we can go into the painting room, we have to go through an air shower. What's that? Let's find out. <laughs> and we're in. And we are into the paint room. This is where Trex frames get hand finished. So most of, most of the frames here are painted by Trex paint robots, which we'll look at shortly. And these are the ones fresh off the robot queue, so these haven't been wiped down, polished or inspected yet. Literally fresh off the painting press. Again, here we have some more ones fresh off the robot queue. And you can see the difference between that raw painted frame and this more or less finished painted frame, which has logos and other graphics and that sort of stuff on it. So you can see everyone hard at work applying masks and decals so you can see the masks on the inside of the fork where that won't be painted there so interesting here we have got the uci certification stickers this is for a demane frame and you can just see uci good to go good to be raced this is where the frames go through to misty which is trex paint robot so a bunch of the frames go through there some project one frames go through there and all of the Race Shop Limited and that sort of stuff goes through here too. This is the oven where all of the frames go through to cure the decals and to cure the paint. So 15,000 frames are painted here for Trek and of those, nine to 10,000 are the custom Project One frames. How cool is this? This is where all of the Project One bikes are painted and each Trek craftsman works on the Project One bikes until they are fully painted and completed, which is why they offer the option for your Project One bike to be signed by the person who painted it. Behind me, they're working on decals and masks. So they've had one layer of paint, they've either added the decals or they've added the masks. They'll then get another layer of paint just to add to the complexity and look of that paint job. This is the assembly floor here at the Trek factory. So the frames come from the paint shop. They arrive here, which is where they get polished and buffed. So I don't want to touch them, so I'll grease them up, but they are very, very shiny. Moving on from the polishing station, they come here where the frames are assembled. So if you've got a Trek Madone, that's where your inner cable routing and things like that get added in. Moving on from the frame assembly point, although I think we should stop to look at the Leopard Print bike. That's very special. And while we're stopping to look at custom painted bikes, we have got the Fabian Cancellara Spartacus Limited Edition Project One bike that he rode at the Tour de France. I'm going to get out of the way and let you look at that. Here we've got a long line of Project One Madone, so they're all custom painted, ready to be assembled into complete bikes. I'm going to have a look around and see what this person has chosen to spec their bike with. Montreja tyres, skewers, we've got the Ultegra, group set, all kind of put here in a step-by-step -step process so it really is a manufacturing line process it's as efficient as possible and hopefully I haven't messed it up although I suspect I probably have this is where the wheels are assembled so they go from laced hubs and spokes and bare rims to the completed Bontrager 
wheels. We've got an incredibly accurate wheel truing stand there, so each wheel is tensioned and trued to perfection. Here we go. So I have spent absolutely hours designing and choosing my Trek Project One bike, sent my order off, and I'm lucky enough to be at the Trek factory in Waterloo, Wisconsin to pick it up. The moment has arrived. Here we go. Drum roll. Oh, it is mine. <laughs> Look at that, that is stunning, isn't it? I think I did a very good job with the paint. I'm so pleased. Well, there you go. A complete look behind the scenes at Trek's Waterloo, Wisconsin factory. I absolutely loved looking around. There's a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know went on here. And even better than that, I got a souvenir. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit share too. And to see more of our factory tour videos, click there. And to see our aluminium bike versus carbon bike feature on Trek bikes, click down there. Finally, to subscribe to GCN, click on our channel logo.